Good morning and welcome once again to the parish of All Saints Harrow Weald. Uh, I'm Father John, the vicar at All Saints, and this is our first uh, uh, live stream worship for a while. Uh, we've had a few days away. So it's great to be back and it's particularly great that the sun is shining beautifully outside. Uh, despite what it says beside me, today we're having prayer during the day at 12 o'clock UK time. And uh, we'll be starting in two, three minutes as we prepare for worship. Let's listen to the choir of St. Martin in the field singing, Now thank we all our God. Beautiful singing from the choir of St. Martin in the Fields. And uh, welcome back. There was just a short uh, interruption in the live streaming there. I'm sorry, and I think my wife came to warn me, but we're back in business again. So let's go now and worship God with prayer during the day from common worship. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Make me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. And now we can say our opening prayer responsorially. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save us and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Jesus Christ. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, 
Make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Amen. Our um, day psalm 123. Our eyes wait upon the Lord our God. To you I lift up my eyes, to you that are enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, or the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than enough of the scorn of the arrogant and of the contempt of the proud. Our eyes wait upon the Lord our God. Let us pray. Sovereign God, enthroned in the heavens, look upon us with your eyes of mercy as we look on you with humility and love and fill our souls with your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mercy and peace. This is the theme in our Bible reading this morning from the letter of St. Paul to the church in Ephesus. Paul writes, Now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall. That is the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances so that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off, and peace to those who were near, for through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Peace. Peace that the world cannot give us. A gift from Jesus, our Lord, the Son of God. I... I've heard many people saying, and uh, I'm included, that during this uh, last 15 months, however long it is, it's longer now, throughout the lockdown, many of us have had periods where uh, a peaceful night's sleep has been a, a wishful dream. We've woken up in the middle of the night, feeling awake, not knowing why. Um, personally, it's happened to me during the uh, lockdown, and it also happens whenever I've got a, a problem on my heart. Peace is vital for sleep, for calmness, for everything. So how can we have peace when there are troubles around us, either mistakes we've made in our lives or a pandemic which is beyond the control of, of any of us? Well, the hymn writer summed it up in a few words. Have we trials and temptations? Take it to the Lord in prayer. Is there trouble anywhere? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his hands he'll gently take us. Take it to the Lord in prayer. So yes, there are times, there will be times, just as there have been times, when peace is something which we desire but do not feel immediately. If that's the case, accept it. Share it with God. As Paul wrote, Jesus gave his life that we might have his peace. Amen. And now we'll say our day prayers and we will conclude with prayers for those who we know and love, who have particular immediate needs for our comfort. Let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as we 
Enjoy the warm weather returning. We thank you for all of your gifts of nature, for the clear blue sky and the warmth of the sun, for the beauty of the flowers in our gardens and the vegetables and fruits that are so plentiful at this time. All our gifts from you. They come from your garden and we have the privilege to be your gardeners. May we take care with your gifts. May we use them carefully so that they will be bountiful for us and for our children and grandchildren. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for our country and for the countries of the world as we live with COVID. Lord, we thank you that we have the possibility to be vaccinated and we thank you for the dedication and skills and selflessness of doctors, nurses, carers and medical researchers all playing their part to help us to survive COVID. May we play our part by caring for ourselves and caring for others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for our government and the governments of the world. May they understand that power is a privilege. May they seek to follow the perfect example of your Son, our Saviour Jesus, oh, who even though he was, is and forever will be the greatest, made himself the least. Although he was without question the first, he placed himself last. May we understand that in this way, we, all of us, great, small, rich, poor, all can live in peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love for your name's sake. By name from our parish list, we commend to you Phil Creaser, Anne Nash, Gemma Pulford, Asha Solianki, Catherine Jones, Siobhan Renson, Noel Bevan, Sheila Ward, Ray Padoni, Roger Siswick, Jane Slade, Rachel Power, Margaret Vintner, Denise Mordell and George Baldwin, Jane Skelly and Jane Eastwood. May they feel your love and peace surrounding them. Amen. And now we give you thanks that we have had the privilege to Know and love and be loved by Doris Weed and by Marjorie Page. We commend their immortal souls to your grace and mercy and we pray for their families at this time of sadness and reflection for them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And now we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our prayer for the day. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the benefits you have won for us, for all the pains and insults you've borne for us. Most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. And our collect for this day. Merciful God, you prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding, 
pour into our hearts such love toward you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen. And now may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us for worship this morning, wherever you are. I pray that the rest of this day may be happy, holy, safe, and blessed for you. Uh, we'll be worshipping again live stream tomorrow. We'll be saying night prayer or compline from the Book of Common Prayer at 6pm UK time. I invite you to join us if you wish and if you will. So until then, have a wonderful time. I leave you with the uh, Choir of St Martin in the Fields singing the prayer of St Richard. Mm -hmm.